Hey there, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Drake Array Gaming. Today, we're going to be looking at your settings in the NVIDIA control panel for Modern Warfare 3 to make sure you're getting the most performance and maximized FPS in your game, as well as visibility. It all matters. So as usual, no BS, no fluff. Let's jump right into it. Let's go. All right. There's a couple ways you can find your NVIDIA control panel, uh, either by your task... Uh, uh, bar down here and you can right click on the NVIDIA icon here and go to control panel. If that is not there for you, what you can actually do is uh, search it up in your menu and type NVIDIA control panel and it'll come right up. You can hit enter. It'll take you right here. Now, the main things we want to be checking out, there's a couple different ones here. It can look daunting and confusing, but it's not. I'm going to run you through it. So what you want to really kind of focus on is manage 3D settings. And I want you to copy essentially what I have here. Um, but before we go through each one of these and I explain them uh, one at a time, we want to go to display change resolution. We want to make sure your resolution, your refresh rate is all being recognized and in the same communication uh, and settings as what Windows is seeing. So if you right click on your desktop anywhere and you click display settings, what we want to check out, put these side by side, is make sure that everything matches up. So we're running 1920 by 1080 here in NVIDIA control panel, as well as on the system display here. We're also running a 240 refresh rate, and we want to make sure in the advanced display information, our 240 refresh rate also matches what's here and here. So everything looks good, and this is matching. And now we can jump into the more technicalities in manage 3D settings. And so what we want to do here, so there's initially there's a ton of different settings in here um, that I've changed. And the it'll it'll depend if it's application controlled or the game is controlling it. A lot of these are set to really improve the the image quality and the and the look of the games. And some of them are not necessary, and it really hinders performance, especially in a game, a competitive game where you're looking for high FPS in first-person shooters like Modern Warfare 3, Warzone 3, etc. So what we're going to actually do is turn off image scaling, ambient occlusion, um, anisotropic filtering, and there's a couple different. Uh, tons of different things you can get into in here if you're really trying to make a game look insanely good but mostly the settings in modern warfare 3 um, you can adjust there to get the quality the visibility the performance you're looking for and so you don't want anything uh messing with those or overriding those settings here in the control panel so we're going to turn off image scaling ambient occlusion anti-scropic filtering all these settings are available in game and i'd rather have them application controlled rather than the uh nvidia control panel changing them so anti-aliasing mode, gamma correction, we're gonna turn all off. Um, none off, background application, max frame rate, we're just gonna turn off. We're gonna let the uh, game control that. Um, this, this is when you do wanna set the CUDA GPUs, you want it to all CUDA GPUs. Sometimes you can split up resources and, and, and sh tell the, the GPU or your CPU where you want it to spend its uh, resources and its, its horsepower on, but right, we want it all to be going to the game. Um, so we're gonna put all GPUs, the CUDA, CUDA, all the CUDA GPUs, um, the CUDA system fallback policy is on driver default, DSR factors off, low latency mode off, max frame rate is off, um, monitor technology, so we're doing a fixed refresh at that 240 hertz that I showed you, so we already set that and took care of it, so we're looking good at 240 on my monitor. We're going to turn off uh, MFAA, um, we're going to make sure the OpenGL rendering and the GPU is all set to RTX 3080 or your graphics card that you have. We're gonna put power management mode on prefer maximum performance. We wanna make sure the power management settings um, in the control panel are pushed for performance. So the preferred refresh rate for my uh, Dell Mo Alienware monitor, as well as the game, we're gonna have that application controlled that I spoke of earlier. So we wanna make sure we're getting the best performance. Our shader cache size, we're gonna to change to unlimited. Um, texture filtering is um, on, but honestly, it's uh, this is oh this is the optimization one. This is why I have it on because it's an optimization one as well as a trilinear optimization. Uh, the quality we're going for high performance on the quality, and then we're going to allow negative LOD bias. Those are the settings for those. Um, threaded optimization for our CPU. We want an auto. Um, we're going to go ahead and let Windows control that instead of the control panel. Uh, triple buffering, VSync, VR stuff, Vulkan, all these other things are just going to turn them all off. The Vulkan thing can be on auto. Uh, it's not a big deal with that one, but all of the vertical sync and VR stuff, virtual reality stuff, we're just going to leave on off slash default. And these settings really, really did help out with the performance. And these are the ones I run for Modern Warfare 3, um, as well as Warzone 3. And um, in my other videos, you'll see I'm pushing 300 frames, 250 to 300. I'm getting great performance out of my system. I'm having a really, really good time with the game. 
I know this video will help you out. Get your NVIDIA control panel settings set up and get the most performance from Modern Warfare 3. I'm Draco Ray here to help with the gaming community. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.